Today is March 23rd. I'm your host, Kyle Vicente, and this is BMTM Daily. In today's news, workers digging the new Eglinton Crosstown line have uncovered a soft patch of soil, forcing the closure of a section of Eglinton Avenue West at least through the weekend. A sinkhole was reported less than three kilometers away last week near the Eglinton West subway station. Nobody was injured, nor has any property been damaged. In world news, Japan is planning to build a 400 kilometer long chain of cement seawalls to repel future disasters. Four years ago, a tsunami ravaged much of the country's northeastern coast. Head of the UN's Office for Disaster Risk Reduction, Margareta Wallström, said that such a reliance on these safeguards can lead communities to be too complacent at times. Now to Edson with the weather. Hey Royals, hope you had a fantastic March break. We had some beautiful weather last week that I hope you were able to enjoy, because it's dropping back down now. Currently, it's negative 10 and feels like negative 18. Looking at the forecast for today, it's going to be going up to negative 7 for 1 p.m. and it's going to be going down to negative 8 for most of the night. That's your forecast for Monday, March 23rd. Have a great day. Now to Kyle for some school news. Thanks, Edson. In school news, this coming week, the yearbook committee will be having another interactive vote for the yearbook cover. Also, any students interested in finding a job, you are invited to the TCDSB job fair on April 9. It's at the Toronto Metro Convention Center. Please see Mr. Galliardi in room 143 for more details. That's all for today, guys, and I'll see you next time.